Here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, before we begin today proceeding, we will be calling on Zita Edwards to give a word of prayer. Um, Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us safely here to the ones here. Hope that this afternoon proceedings will be smooth. Help us as we continue throughout this whole tournament. Be it each every each and every player, no. coach, officials, Ready? media, everyone that has participation with this afternoon. Be with us, guide us, and protect us in Jesus' name I pray. Oh, God. And let the people say Amen. Amen. At this time we kindly asking everyone to stand as we have the national anthem of Antigua and Barbuda. To the play by the Antigua Barbie, the Royal Police Force. So I'm kindly asking everyone to stand. If you are here with us today, we are asking you to please stand.
Ok. Players, you are kindly asked to make your way onto the stand, please. Yes, please, let me just put pause for a pause, so please stay with us.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be with us for a moment. The, prime, the Minister of Sports, he went to collect the Minister of St. Lucia, so please be with us. Uh, thank you very much. We'll be back shortly. and I have my water.
Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please. At this time, we're going to call all teams back onto the court. Quickly as possible, ladies. So we can continue with the flag raising ceremony, then we move straight into. So once again, we're calling all ladies to please make your way back onto the court. So for the flag raising ceremony, ladies, each country will be singing their national anthem. All right? Yes, definitely. Yes. You're going to exercise those vocal cords. So we have Barbados, Antigua, Barbados, Cayman Islands, Dominica, Grenada, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, followed by... St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So, first we'll have Barbados. Yes, ladies and at this time, we kindly asking everyone to stand, please, while the national anthem of each country will be played. So please, ladies and gentlemen, we're kindly asking you to stand. Barbados, I know you can do it. You see the smile on your faces. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Barbados National Anthem. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Moving right along to the Cayman Islands. One, two. 
When you're ready, ladies. God save our gracious King, long live our noble King, God save our King. Stand victorious, happy and glorious, long to Thank you very much. Coming up next, we've got the country, the island of Dominica. Thank you very much, Dominica. Moving right along to the Spice Island of Grenada. When you're ready. Hail Grenada, land of us. We pledge ourselves to thee. His hearts and hands in unity to reach our destiny. Ever conscious of God, being proud of our heritage, May we with faith and courage aspire, build, advance as one people, one family. God bless our nation. Yes, thank you very much, Grenada. Moving the right along to Montserrat. Thank you very much, Montserrat. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, we go to St. Kitts and Nevis. No 
speak and conquer, for God will sure defend. His blessing shall forever to posterity extend. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, St. Kitts. Moving right along, we go to St. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Stop St. Lucia. Sorry. The flag was still raising. Sorry. All right, St. Lucia. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, St. Lucia, followed by St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now the national anthem of Antigua and Barbuda. After two, one, two. And Barbuda. We thy sons and daughters stand Strong and firming peace or danger To safeguard our native land We commit ourselves to building a true nation brave and free ever striving ever seeking dwell in love and unity thank you very much lady thank you thank you very much 
At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I present to the podium the first vice president of the Antiguan Barbuda Netball Association, none other than Mrs. Vincia Barfley Cochrane. Honorable Daryl Matthew, Minister of Sports, Education, and the Creative Industries. Honorable Kenson Casimir, Minister of Youth Development and Sports, St. Lucia. Miss, Mrs. Mary Jean Benjamin Prime, Deputy Assistant Country Manager, acting, ECCB. Other invited dignitaries and guests. It is a sense of gratitude that I stand here to say welcome to this, the 2023 edition of the ECCB International Netball Series. The Antigua and Barbuda Netball Association sees this not just as an opportunity to showcase the talent of the women in our region, but to let the world know that netball, which is the number one sports for female, is still alive and thriving. It is an opportunity to, to unite as one people, doing something positive while enjoying the game we love. To all participants, managers, coaches, umpires, table officials, ball girls, ground staff, the technical and support teams, patrons, and mostly the players, welcome to our beloved Antigua and Barbuda. In light of the fact that most of your time will be spent here battling on the court, I do encourage you to take a little time to enjoy a bit of paradise. Enjoy our warm hospitality. And for the short time that you're here, it is quite okay that you make this your home away from home. And this is just a plug. If you get an opportunity to go downtown St. John's, make a stop at our local sponsor, Cool and Smooth. Let them know that you're here and that you're part of this tournament. And all you need to say, my brother, and they will give you, I can guarantee, a further 20% discount. They always have a sale at Cool and Smooth. So people, friends play the game safely make new friends but most of all respect yourself respect your various countries and territories respect them and present them with pride have fun but most of all be humble once again welcome to antigua and barbuda where the beach is just the beginning i thank you Thank you very much, Vice President, Madam Vincia Barfley Cochrane. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we be having the inspection. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'll have the president, and she has five minutes to deliver. Is that too much, ladies? One and a half second? Good enough for me. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium the president of CNA. Thank you, Chair. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Protocol observed in the interest of time. Please, due respect to everybody in the podium. But we need to get our young ladies out of the sun. 
But we needed to have some welcome and to hear CNA. Not Rufina, but CNA speak quickly for a few seconds. Just to say we appreciate the effort of all the countries here. Great effort from everybody. We want to mention our prime sponsor, the ECCB, for the generosity. We want to also thank the Antigua and Barbuda Netball Association for the great effort um, in terms of staging the tournament. It's not easy. And you have to get really get creative when things go bad. As you saw, creativity and our singing powers came through. And it turned out to be the best thing ever, wasn't it? In terms of singing our national anthems. So without further ado, I really want to say thank you. And we wish everybody an enjoyable tournament. Please enjoy the games. That's what Netball is about, enjoyment. So let us do that. And we really appreciate the effort of everybody. Particularly our minister making the effort to be with us for five days. So we need to treasure that, really. And so at the end of the day, next year is St. Lucia. So we're on the road from Antigua to St. Lucia. And so we will see everybody and more in St. Lucia next year. Having said that, I wish to take my excuse on behalf of CNA. And we shall have the inspection of the teams with our ministers and with our podium guests. OK? Thank you.
Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very much, Mr. DJ. Thank you very much, dignitaries. At this time, we're moving definitely along with our program. And at this time, we definitely like to call to the microphone none other than the Honorable Minister of Sports, Education, and Creativity of Antigua Barbuda. The Honorable... My boss, <laughs> Mr. Darrell Matthew. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. And um, I won't say much because I did welcome the teams last night at the reception, but I'd like to acknowledge um, the persons here on the platform to include the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education, Sports, and Creative Industries, um, the visiting dignitaries, my colleague minister from St. Lucia, and just to welcome all of those persons who are visiting Antigua and Barbuda to participate in this tournament. You know, hosting tournaments are never easy exercises, and large investments are made. Investments in terms of time to prepare players, and investments in terms of resources to prepare facilities. And so I'm happy that we're here at the YMCA today, a facility that has seen a tremendous amount of work, gone in to ensure that it is in a state of readiness to host this tournament. And so um, while I, I welcomed the teams last night and thanked the coaches and administrators for ensuring that everyone um, arrived in Antigua and Barbuda and is prepared to compete, I want to use the opportunity to thank my permanent secretary, who really went above and beyond to ensure that the resources were in place to have this facility outfitted to host this tournament. And so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I encourage you, the teams, to play hard, to exercise graciousness in defeat, humility in victory, make friends, exercise good sportsmanship, and just have a fantastic tournament. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, now I call the microphone, none other than the Minister of Beauty, Development, and Sport of St. Lucia, the Honorable Kenson Casimir. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Honorable Kenson Casimir of St. Lucia. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, protocol having been established, let me just recognize the Minister of Education, Sports, and Creative Industries, Honorable Daryl Matthews, the President of CNA, Rufina Paul, other invited guests, players, media, well-wishers, good afternoon. I am pleased to be here today to just give a few words on what I believe is very important when we speak about sports development, in particular netball. Last night at the welcome ceremony, the minister spoke to some of the benefits of being part of a netball team and the benefits of government investing in the sport of netball. I just want to add that many a times the conversation about netball tend to take a turn when we speak about the future, one's development, whether or not you could get scholarships. And sometimes as a minister of sport and somebody who was a former athlete, I often ask myself if people really understand the dynamics and what sports can do for an individual. So I want to encourage every single association here today to continue to foster proper holistic development in our young ladies. Because the sport of netball is critical to ensuring that the entire individual gets to a point in life where they could truly say that they are developed. And so, for the development programs, we would like to see an emphasis on the individual, discipline, team spirit, so many of the things, the attributes that our society needs today. Finally, I want to debunk the theory that netball is not a sport that young women can look to in terms of having a professional life. Many a times we don't see how we as individuals in a sport 
can use our talents and our skills to ensure that we have a proper career. Many of us can be physiotherapists. We could be sports photographers. We could be coaches. We could be umpires. We could be referees. We could be sports counselors. And many a times we think of the sport as just being on the court. But I want us to start broadening the conversation on netball as it pertains to the development of our young ladies. We see what happens in our communities and it is because there is not enough emphasis on developing the entire being through sports. So with these few words, I want you all to enjoy the tournament. Do your best. May the best team win. Go Lucia. Go Lucia. May the best team win. All the best. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Honorable Casimir. Casimir. And like, ladies like Ms. Casimir said, may the best team win. Go Antigua Barbuda. <laughs> and St. Vincent. No hard feeling. I gave up my Vinci flag a long time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, moving right along at this time. We will be calling on the ECCB Deputy Country Manager of Antigua, Mrs. Mary Jane Benjamin Prime. What a long name. Welcome, Mrs. Mary Jane Benjamin Prime, to the podium, ladies and gentlemen, to give a brief remark. Good afternoon, everyone. All protocols having been established, I bring greetings from the Monetary Council, the Board of Directors, the management and staff of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. The hosting of the 2023 ECCB International Netball Series comes at a time when the ECCB celebrates its 40th anniversary. Yes, ECCB at 40. During his speech, at the launch of the year-long celebration to mark the, that calendar of activities for the year, 40th year, the governor of the ECCB, Timothy N.J. Antoine, issued a clarion call to make this year a year of joyous celebration of our many successes. And this year's netball tournament will be no exception. The ECCB has been in support of this venture since 1991 and we remain committed to, committed to the advancement of young netballers in the region. Hence, the theme of this tournament, excellence and empowerment through sports. This commitment began as the OECS ECCB on the 23 netball tournament. And this is in keeping with the bank's mandate of promoting the balanced growth and development of its member countries and its vision for regional integration. So with the guidance of the Caribbean Netball Association, the tournament was upgraded to an international series in 2019 and was renamed OECS ECCB International Netball Series. This upgrade allows the participating teams to gain international netball ranking. So this netball series falls under the ECCB's strategic priority, the environment, social and corporate governance. It is one of several avenues the ECCB uses to demonstrate its corporate social responsibility to the people of the ECCU. There are other regional um, initiatives which the bank executes to target the region young people. And those include the ECCB primary school mentorship program, this program was launched in 2007 and is administered in eight primary schools, one from each of the ECCB member countries. The program involves students from grades four to six, with whom the facilitators engage in weekly discussions and interactive lessons, which focus on general financial and economic concepts. Then there is the ECCB, Children's Connection radio program. 
this one has its main objectives uh, to augment, uh, augment the youth's understanding of e everyday financial and economic issues, as well as their overall personal development. Here in Antigua and Barbuda, the program is aired on Observer Radio, 91.1 FM, the last Saturday of every month from 9.30 to 10 o'clock a.m. Yet another initiative is the ECCB RSSARU Creative Youth Competition. This competition is geared towards stimulating the minds of the region's youth on issues that impact the social economic landscape of the region. This one was launched in September of 2018 in collaboration with the Regional Security Systems Asset Recovery Unit, RSS ARU. And it is open to students in our eight member countries between the ages of 13 and 19 years old. Now, most of you may know that the ECCB International Netball Series is rotated annually among the ECCB member countries. The first competition was held in St. Vincent and Grenadines in 2019, with Team Grenada taking home the first ever Gloria Ballantyne Championship Trophy. Last year, the Commonwealth of Dominica hosted the tournament, where six teams vied for the coveted regional championship. Team St. Vincent and the Grenadines emerged as winners then. This year, we are elated to see nine teams participating in the tournament, of which seven are from ECCB member countries. Antigua and Barbuda, Commonwealth of Dominica, Grenada, Montserrat, St. Christopher, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are also happy to welcome the guest teams from Barbados and the Cayman Islands. It is noteworthy that the bank's commitment goes beyond just an interest in the sport or the young women's athletic prowess. It also encompasses a commitment to their personal and professional development. So these eight days that we anticipate, you know, excitement from today, 30th September to the 7th October, will not only include netball matches, but will be an opportunity for camaraderie among the netballers and a personal enhancement through the ECCB development session. The session will focus on sport as an outlet for coping with mental health. Let me repeat, sports as an outlet for coping with mental health and will be facilitated by school counselor Harriet Warner. During this interactive, interactive session, the netballers will be afforded the opportunity to share their views, to network, and to build new relationships. I must call out the members of Team St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the defending champions, for their amazing journey throughout this competition's history. Since the start of the competition in 1991, they have taken home the championship trophy 15 times. Yes, 15 times. But while we expect them to work exceedingly hard to maintain their position, there is no doubt in our mind that the other participating teams are here with a mind to emerge victorious and to dethrone the reigning champions. Nonetheless, I urge you to play hard, but be professional. Display good sportsmanship. Seize the opportunity to sharpen your skills while developing new friendships. Remember, you are role models and youth ambassadors for your respective countries. I want to thank the Caribbean Netball Association, the Antigua and Barbuda Netball Association, the visiting teams and officials, the government of Antigua and Barbuda for their role in making the 2023 
ECCB International Netball Series a reality and may the best team win. Thank you. Come on, ladies, you can do much better than that. That's our sponsor. Come on, put your hands together. I didn't hear, I didn't hear. Brilliant stuff. That's how we do it. We definitely got to recognize the sponsor of our netball. Yes, definitely. We got to do that. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we've been listening to speeches and all that. But at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have some entertainment by Mr. Adrian Hazel. Is Mr. Adrian Hazel here? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think he'll be on the court. I think he'll be dancing, singing, ballet. to be so broken lost empty a heart with no beat a singer with no song to sing so I know the feeling the silence is deafening but in your pain lies a blessing in a sweet and sour victory. So keep walking, 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 though it seems so far. No matter who you are, see, there's one thing that I know. Life it can Listen to me I know you're scared Your heart's bleeding But what are you gonna do now? I think it's time you break free Hey, keep walking, walking, walking Though it seems so far No, it doesn't really matter
You should have known the of me. I follow the voice you gave to me. But now I gotta find my own. I don't know where I belong. But I'll be moving on. If you don't, if you To the song here in my heart, a melody I start that I will complete. Oh, now I'm done believing you. You don't know what I'm feeling. I'm more than what you made of me. I follow the voice you think you gave to me. But now I gotta find my own, my own, my own. Umpire's oath, player's oath. Player's oath, we're calling on Ms. Demelia Fritz, followed by Chris Campbell for the umpire's oath, and then Ms. Arlene Josiah for the official oath. Welcome to the podium, people. Come on. Ms. Fritz, Vantigo Barbuda, Chris Campbell, umpire, and Arlene Josiah. Calling on Ms. Fritz, Jamila Fritz of Antigua Barbuda. Chris Campbell. Oh. I have some binoculars, don't worry. Good afternoon. On behalf of all the players participating in the ECCB International Netball Series, I, Jamila Fitz, pledge that we will play the game fully respecting the decisions of the umpires and other officials and strictly adhering to all local and international rules in the true spirit of friendship sportsmanship for the good of the game and for the glory of the sport. Good afternoon. Official oath. On behalf of all the official officiating in the second ECCB International Netball Series, I, Arlene Josiah, pledge that we will officiate efficiently and effectively without fear or favor. I promise that we'll give of our best at all times, maintaining the high standards expected of us for the good of all and for the glory of the sport. Empire's oath. On behalf of all umpires officiating in the ECCB International Netball Series, I, Win Benti, pledge that we will adhere to
World Netball Code of Ethics for umpires and to the rules of the game. We will be punctual, fair, and consistent, giving off our best at all times, maintaining the high standards expected of us for the good of all and for the glory of the sport. Thank you, everyone. At this time, we're going to have a special presentation. Miss Mary Jean Benjamin Prime, please step forward. Right after this, we will have the vote of thanks followed by closing prayer. So right after this, we'll have the vote of thanks by Ms. Alphonsine Lake, followed by the closing prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, the Caribbean Netball Association deems it extremely important that we show appreciation to the ACCB for more than three decades of contribution to the development of the sport. And so I'm pleased that our two ministers, the Minister of Sports in Antigua and the Minister of Sports for St. Lucia, are with us to present to the ACCB on our collective behalf and to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and continue the good work with us. We really appreciate that. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. Good afternoon. Please allow me to observe all protocols previously established. My task is to say thank you to all who made this opening ceremony a success and for participating. First of all, let me thank the ECCB for sponsoring this tournament and for giving the girls the opportunity to display their talents. I would also at this moment like to thank our many sponsors who also without them, the tournament would not have been possible. To our main sponsor, Cool and Smooth, Jolly Beach, local sponsors, Neil Cochrane, Cliff Williams, Chet Green, McGinley and Associates, Tiger, Trevor, Willie D, Telly Cornelius, Andrew Wholesale, Charlie's Bottling, GCS Water, Carleen Spencer, Verlene George, Josely Knight, Karen Francis, Ministry of Tourism and Ministry of Sports. First, I would like to thank Zeta Edwards for ably invoking God's presence on this afternoon's proceedings. Remember, in all things, give God praise. Second, let me thank our first, the local organization, First Vice President Vincia Bartley, for welcoming each and every one of us for this afternoon's proceedings. To our Minister of Sports, the Honorable Darrell Matthew, thank you for your words of encouragement to the young ladies in this tournament. To the Minister from St. Lucia, and allow me to pull up my program to get your name. Minister... Tadmir. Thank you for your words of encouragement to our players and for also challenging the association to produce more. I do hope we adhere to your call. To the representative from our sponsors, you also uttered encouraging words. But most importantly, importantly, thank you for bringing awareness to the following groups that you are in, extended to our youths. We do hope that now we are aware of the said programs, we will participate not only for winning prizes, but to gain knowledge in the process. To our entertainment, Mr. H Adrian Hazel, past student of the Otto's Comprehensive School, thank you for executing such an excellent dance. To our reigning Miss Teenage, Ajene Blow, thank you for such sweet vocals. To the president of the CNA, 
Thank you for your brief remarks, which you did say brief. <laughs> To you, the young ladies, thank you for, a, for coming out to this tournament and to share your skills with us, which we'll see throughout the tournament. I also would like to urge you to take sportsmanship into mind and play clean and remember you're not playing for yourself, but for your fellow teammates and your country as well. To one and all, thank you. Good afternoon, all. We stand as we go to God in prayer. We're kindly asking everyone to please stand. We're kindly asking everyone to please stand. Please stand. Thank you very much. We bow our heads in prayer. Loving God, we still ourselves in your amazing presence. We are so happy that there is no one quite like you. You're amazing. You're absolutely beautiful. You're perfect. You are wonderful. You are amazing. We bless your name. We confess that we have failed you in so many ways. But you have remained God, you have remained faithful, you have been merciful. And so we thank you. We thank you for your great mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you that you have given the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank this initiative for so many years. And they have been diligent in executing it. We are grateful for the president of the Antigua and Barbuda Netball Association, who, along with her committee, have been resilient in making this event a success. We thank you that you have given them courage, you have given them creativity, you have given them a mind to work. We are also grateful for the Ministry of Education, Sports, and Creative Industry, and the minister who leads that ministry. We're grateful that you have given them all the resources that are needed so that this event could be a success. We are thankful that you, O oh God, will be present throughout these proceedings, that you will be with the players, you'll shield them from accidents and incidents, that you'll cause them to have an awesome time as they build relationship and have fair competition. We ask, kind God, that you, in your infinite wisdom, will cause them to showcase the best skills and the best team will win. In as much as we want our team to win, we know that you have the final say. So we are trusting you to do that which only you can do. And that will be exceedingly abundantly above that which we could ask, think, or even imagine. So I ask that you bless these, your people, that you keep them, that you cause your face to shine upon them and be gracious unto them, that you lift up the light, the radiance, the brilliance, the awesomeness of your countenance upon them, and grant them your peace. This is our prayer in and through Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen. Once again, we just want to say heartfelt thank you to Reverend Bunny for some powerful words. And we just, I would just like to take the opportunity to wish each and every one of you safe play, fair play, accident free. Right at this time, ladies and gentlemen, our first game today will be St. Vincent versus the Cayman Niles at 5.30. Followed by Montserrat versus St. Lucia at 5.45. And then at 
is Antigua Barbuda. They will be facing Dominica. And then at 7.45 in our nightcap, it's St. Kitts Nevis versus Grenada. So Barbados, you've got plenty of time to rest. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, on behalf of... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the center passes will be done by the ministers, the Honorable uh, Daryl Matthew and the Honorable Kenson Casimir of St. Lucia. Yeah, but they can't catch. Somebody had to shoot. He was the basketballer. But when? <laughs> uh, he falling off. Uh -uh, he only played marble. Marble? Yes. <laughs> he wanted to try. I, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, the Cayman Isles.